May the 23rd, 2021. Guys, you're looking at the Earth-facing images from a satellite we call the SDO, and uh, it's listed on our website if you want to check it out as the Solar Dynamics Observatory, and that's what they call it. And the video yesterday, we were having several flares back-to-back, -back, left and right, and today that's continued except two of the flares now have went uh, from the C-class to the M-class. Your next class is uh, X, and I'll show you the graph on there, but check these explosions out. You notice your timestamp at the bottom going into the last frame. They're just coming in. Well, right there, you got your again in two. The last two bursts were into the C flare category. They're throwing multiple CMI, uh, CMEs our way, guys, and the models are having try, uh, trouble trying to track them all. But uh, we're going to take a look at the CME tracker. I just wanted to let you know what we're dealing with. And when you see these explosions and these magnetic waves being pushed out that is energy directed at our planet the um because and because this is earth facing it's not quite center now it, as we get into the center of this thing we're probably going to have about four or five more days to where it will be geo effective or earth effective so we're going to have to keep an eye on it it is getting stronger but i want to show you what some of the charts are showing now this particular CME tracking model, a coronal mass ejection tracking model, is very busy right now. And uh, what you're seeing, guys, in the very center of the disk is the sun. The Earth is in the green dot here, and you've got stereo B satellite there, stereo satellite here. And they're all three are listed in these graphs to the right, and they list the impact on the, on the planet or a satellite. So the Earth is in the top in plasma density. Usually when you see this scale, it goes up to about 5 to 15. And uh, that's how thick, that's how much energized particles and how thick they are in this cloud coming at us. And what's happening right there, and this is the Earth in the green line, we see a sudden spike, and that's like hitting a brick wall. You're going to more than likely see some pretty powerful quakes. Guys, That uh, if you suffer from these coronal mass ejections, for the next few days are going to be kind of rough. They're already headed towards our planet. Now these are the two strongest, but we're seeing more than uh, what this model is showing. And as I put it through there, you'll see about four or five waves coming out. Not all of them directly at our planet. But here, this is going to be, let's play it forward. Notice on the sun right there in the center, two waves there. It's hard to see. There's three, four, and as they spread out, you can kind of tell more about it. Right there was the first two, three, four, and five. Now, I'll bring this back, let it play up. You'll see the impact time on the planet. Again, the window uh, is plus or minus four hours right there. We're looking at 1,700 hours right before we hit the wall. Now, the peak is a little further, but that sudden impact is what does it, the damage. So you're going to be looking at um, 1,700 hours UTC time on the 5th. That'll be Tuesday. So that's going to be about, uh, you'll be looking at about 5 in the afternoon central time here in the U.S., if I'm not mistaken. You can check that. Now, again, the stereo A satellite here is going to catch the wave a little further. That's what you're looking at. See, the wave right there has not reached it. Now, we're in full impact at 1,700 hours. So if you back it up just a little bit, right in there, we're going to be 1,600, 1,700 hours. But these waves are traveling 93 million miles an hour. And they're going to be traveling at about 400 kilometers per second. Think about that. Now, um, again, the bottom one, the stereo B, we're not getting much information from it anymore. Both are, A and B are past their initial lifespans. But in radial velocity in the bottom of the chart, this is solar wind speed. And it's going to be very close to the plasma density line. Now it's showing it jumping around 400 and diving down and maybe again a back up to around 400 kilometers per second. But guys, you're talking about well over 500,000 miles per hour, that wind. Same thing, stereo A is going to sense it and the stereo B because this is an unusual flare. And I've watched them for a long time that it's throwing out so many waves in so many directions and now again it's in going from uh, the m class into the c class flares
But again, as you watch this, you can see you're, you're dealing with this thing as, as far as direct impact uh, for an hour or so as it uh, crosses across our planet. But there's one, two. This is what's coming, guys. The first two on this chart are what's going to impact Earth. The second one is a direct impact. The third one is a uh, side impact. Actually, you can almost see six here in this uh, particular model. Now, this is a solar flare detection chart on Solar Ham. The link is on our website, or you can go to solarham.net. And it's uh, X-ray flux, and this is what picks up the solar flare burst. The um, In the green right here, you see sea flares. We're at a 75% chance right now of these things continuing. We're at a 25% chance of the stronger M flares continuing. X flares, 0.01%, not very high. Guys, you got to pay attention to these sunspots when they get earth facing i've done videos talking about there was a plasma tube connection between the sun and the planets and about every eight minutes there's a pulse that goes through from the sun to the earth and we're magnetically connected to it via a plasma tube and when you get to the earth facing zone on the sun there's the, there's spots not just the entire half of the um sun that you see but there's connection points we'll take a look at that too but if you get once you get one of these flares going right across the plasma tube connection then that energy is a uh, spark like um, uh, opposite polarities and is transferred directly through that tube to the impact point on the earth very interesting we'll check that out now what you're seeing is the magnetopause model and it's, there's a series of satellites that orbit the earth that pick up this energy coming from the sun and uh, we're it's not that bad right now but uh, you can see the angles the, er, the sun is to the left of each of these charts this is a equatorial plane chart from one angle and the noon to midnight uh, plane chart here You're looking from dawn to dusk and north to south the sun is to the left here and uh, as the earth encounters that these are the shields, your magnetic shields. Magneto pauses in this, and you get down into your lower atmosphere, things like that. But that energy is transferred, especially when the shields are weak. The impacts are greater. And what you're seeing in the red is the burn-off behind, the plasma burn-off behind our planet. And uh, this will be very interesting in the next few days as we see these multiple CMEs come in. All of this adds up. When they impact this, it's transferred into the core of our planet, directly into ground field lines and impact on our tectonic plates and quickly guys this is what's called the magnetic connectivity solar scape viewer and uh, this one the one for earth right now is down it's not showing the ones that show it, the position of the magnetic connection on the sun what we're looking at here is the um, sunspot itself it, it's called a NOAA active region but a lot of times you will see this uh, Earth's connectivity point in a circle about that big, say here, or here, just depending on the season, how the angles of, that connect. But when that happens, you see a uh, when this spot is rotating, and it's rotating to the right, and when it, it runs across the Earth's magnetic connectivity point, there's more transfer of energy. Not only that, I've seen that connection throw out large solar flares. And so there's a, a symbiotic relationship between these magnetic fields, the plasma tubes, and all that. We're watching it. You watch it. If I get uh, some information and get the accurate chart of where exactly the Earth is connected at this point, it moves all the time, then uh, I'll put that up. But uh, we're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.